Good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the company update of Oceana Gold on Commodity TV. The high gold price is not only pleasing investors, but above all, solid gold producers. And one such company is Oceana Gold, with a high leverage to the gold price. These companies are in demand, so it's not surprising that Oceana Gold is in the focus of many experts and analysts and also in our focus. With an expected production output of 510 to 570,000 ounces of gold, plus 13 to 14,000 tons of copper, at all in sustaining costs of 1,475 to $1,600 per ounce of gold sold, this medium-sized gold producer participates disproportionately in the rising gold price. Oceana Gold owns four gold mines worldwide. These are located in the US, the Philippines, and New Zealand. Oceana Gold also has strategic investments and holdings in two exploration companies. It was recently announced that its wholly owned subsidiary, Oceana Gold Philippines, has completed the initial public offering of 20% of the outstanding common shares of OGPI on the Philippine Stock Exchange, called PSE. The shares trade under the ticker symbol OGP and trading commenced on 13th May 2024. OGPI holds the company's interest in the DDPO mine and was required to list its common shares on the PSE under the terms of the renewed financial and technical assistance agreement. The offering was a secondary offering of common shares and the proceeds went to a wholly owned subsidiary of Oceana Gold. The IPO raised total gross proceeds of approximately 106 million US dollars. The proceeds available from the offering will be used to repay Oceana Gold's debt. As of 31st March 2024, the company had debt of 160 million US dollars. The operating and financial results for the first quarter of this year again indicate a strong full year. This is because the Q1 figures indicate strong production and free cash flow growth. Q1 was in line with expectations and Oceana Gold is confident that gold production will increase quarter on quarter over the course of the year, with all four sites expected to perform better in the second half of the year. With the incremental increase in production in each remaining quarter of this year and strong gold and copper prices, management expects to be able to further strengthen the balance sheet, invest in organic growth and consider additional returns for shareholders. What this will look like, we will see. Maybe higher dividend, maybe a share buyback. Let's wait and see. The 16-year point-in-figure chart looks interesting. We are at the triple top and the first price cycle is three Canadian dollars 75. A breakout from the long consolidation is possible above four Canadian dollars 25 and then there is a price target of seven and a half Canadian dollars for the share. You can also find all the information on our Commodity TV app in German and English, as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like. And more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The share discussed is part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate, and I'm a shareholder in the company. Thanks for watching us, and bye-bye from Switzerland.